Hi, everybody. So if you are watching this, then you decided you wanted to do project number two, and we're going to be doing that digitally. So what I have here is I'm in Google Drawings, and the link to get here is in the Google Forms that I provided for you. So you've clicked the link, and it'll bring you here. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that you type in a title here. Either type in your first or your last name. So I'm going to type in my last name, and then I'm going to type in value so that I know what the project is and who made it. So right here is your drawing platform. So if you right click on here, you can give it a background. So you can click background and you can do whatever color that you want. So maybe you want to do green. We have a green background. All right. So since we're talking about value, value is the lightness and darkness of a color. So when we're painting, that means that if you had green, for example, you would keep adding white to make it get lighter. Here, we just have our green and we don't have paint, but we can use our tools to make our stuff lighter or darker. Because if we are using paint to make it darker, we would be adding black to make a shade. So you are gonna get to choose whatever shape that you want. So you're gonna click here where it says shape and you're gonna go to any of the shapes that you want, any one of them. I'm gonna click this call out one because I like these explosions they look really cool. Looks like a burst of energy. And when you click and you drag and you let go, up, let go, you can see you can move it around and it automatically makes it a color for you. I did not choose this color. So if I don't want this color, I'm going to choose a different one. So right here in our paint bucket, you have all of these colors you can choose. So maybe I want all of my colors to be yellow. So because we are working with value, we can only choose one color. So if I choose yellow, the only colors I can choose are anything in here. I can't choose anything in orange. I can't choose anything in green. I chose yellow, so we're sticking with yellow because we're doing the lightnesses and the darknesses of yellow. So if I'm going to choose that, I'm going to start down here with my darker yellow. You can see how nice and dark that looks. And if I click away, this blue line will go away. Now I'm going to do this again. So I'm going to click on my shapes, click down where I got it from. And I'm going to hold down and drag it out. See how skinny it gets if I just pull it down? I gotta pull it down like that and it'll get wider. I can move it and overlap it on top of here. But I gotta go into my color bucket and I'm in the yellows still and I'm gonna go lighter. So I'm gonna go to this yellow. And then I'm gonna do this again. Oops. So I'm gonna go back into my shapes. I'm going to go down here, click on my shape, click and drag, and now I'm going to go back into my color and go back to yellow, and I'm going to choose a lighter yellow. Look how nice that looks. You can see all the different value. Now, if you want to stop there and be done, that's totally okay. If you want to add words in it, like here I could add, if I double clicked, you can see how I'm able to write. And if I said, bam, you can write bam in there. And just like anything else that you work with on your computer, you can make it bigger with the font sizing change. Or you can make it smaller, or I can make it bold as B. If you want to change the way the font looks, 
You can also click right here where it says Arial, but notice when I hover over it, it says Font. You're gonna click where it says Arial. You can make it any of these if you wanted to change it. I'm just gonna keep it the same for right now. But if you wanted to, you can also rotate it. You see this, how there's a little line with a little dot at the top? I can click on it and turn it, and it'll turn my picture, and I can move it. Bam! So this is another option. If you wanted to add more shapes, you can always go back into your shapes. Go back to the shape that you chose. Remember, we're only choosing one shape. Maybe I want to add one there. I got to change the color of it. Don't forget. Maybe yellow. Actual yellow. Maybe I'll add one down here too. You can copy and paste this. You can always right click. Click copy. And then right click again on your mouse and click paste and i'll just duplicate it for you or you can just go back in the shapes you can go back right here and click on your um on your shape so i'm gonna add one more right there i just gotta change the color of it Make it go maybe, maybe this yellow. This yellow. All right, there you have it. You just made a beautiful work of art using monochromatic colors. Now, if I really wanted this to stand out too, I probably should make my background yellow, but then my other colors wouldn't necessarily show up if that's what you want him to do. I would have to make it this really light yellow. Almost looks pink, it's so light. Then you would have a monochromatic color scheme, which is the same thing as showing the values of the color. Nice job. So now you're gonna go up here so that you can share it with me. I'm gonna click on file, click share. So I can see your lovely artwork. And all you have to do is click this button down here where it says copy link and it copies it for you. Then you need to go into your Google form and you can put it right here where it says if you did project two, paste the link below. So this is where you would right click and paste it right here. You would click paste and that would go right here. I can't do that right now, but that's what you'll do if you complete project number two. Nice job. I cannot wait to see everybody's value art projects. You don't have to choose this one if you didn't want to, you can do the other one as well. So you have both options. All right, have fun.